Hey everybody, I'm Ben. And I'm Rebecca. This is the Traveling Salvation Show, and if you're new to our channel, we sold everything, bought a motorhome, completely renovated it, now we travel around buying stuff and selling it online on eBay and other online platforms full time. That's two onlines, online, online. So we <laughs> probably go to an online, y'all don't even know about online, online, deep dark web. <laughs> Nonetheless, the purpose of our channel, the entire purpose of this channel, or most of the purpose of this channel, is to show you guys that you can do the same thing, whether you want to renovate an RV or you want to start that hamburger and a hot dog bun business that you've been thinking about that you think is going to explode. We can help you get the capital for that. We're not going to invest in it, but we can help you get the capital. Nonetheless, this video and this week, we're going to show you... now. We didn't get to do as much as we wanted to. Less adventure and less sourcing because probably saw in the come in the title again. Yeah. You see we put a lot in our title. The kind of descriptive of the video. Smart <laughs> to do. Nonetheless, you probably saw that our windshield popped out. Back on one so side to make higher. it go up higher on that side and then this side will fall. Trip. So we were riding down the road heard this whistling going on sound like a deer whistle i thought rebecca was trying to learn some new tunes it sounded like an owl to me it sounded like something but anyway it sounded like a mix i had a whistle over here and an owl over there so it's, then it was daytime so it's definitely something not right with the owl yeah so we got out we started searching it we looked found where it was coming from got out and as you can see in the pictures that i'll show you later the windshield had come out of the rv so we're going to take you on our surprise journey to go get that fixed. And while we're down there, we take a quick trip to some ancient Indian burial and ritual mounds. And we do a little bit of sourcing. We do pretty good sourcing, actually, surprise, surprisingly. Get the motorhome fixed and we head back. So we actually had to go south and then come back north to where yeah. we're coming, only to turn around and go back south again. <laughs> <laughs> but like we said, we'll do that. We Actually, our eBay is dead, too. So we're going to show you. I don't know what if anybody else is having this issue. We feel like it may have something to do with managed payments. We have multiple accounts, and all of them just dead. So we've sold some things, a lot of low price things, you know, $13, $15, $20. I sold a baseball bat for $60. i will show you that. But other than that, they're just trickling out. So we'd like to hear from some, from some folks, see you know how y'all's accounts are doing it. But nonetheless, we'll go over that. We'll show you the mounds. We'll show you the thrifting. We'll show you what we got. We hadn't got it listed yet, so we're going to show it to you in a big pile and go through it. And then we'll show you the little bit we got sold. I got a cool update for you on the train tracks. The boy, the boy is the parting out king. I'm going to start a toy train junkyard and just become like a junk man for trains. So... Here we go. Check it out. sure you guys can see it but right there there all the way down to there it's what we're dealing with the window has popped out the windshield has popped out of place so they're going to have to unzip it what he said put it back in and i'm assuming zip it back up you can also see right here where it messed up a little bit you got some that's a bird dude, gross. <laughs> got it they got it back in place i didn't know how they would go do it i didn't know if they'd go out to take the whole window out but everything's back they even sealed up all around it real good 
but we're about ready to head on down the road. Look at that, no more whistling, boy. Hopefully, no more whistling going down the road. That was scary. I thought that thing was coming out. I, every time I stopped, I thought the thing was coming out. They do want us to, they do want us to stick around for a couple of hours, a couple of few hours, and let the epoxies and glues and stuff dry, I guess. But we'll probably head down to some Indian mounds. And then we'll come back, sit around, eat some lunch, and then head on down the road. So here we are in glorious Macon, Georgia. Awesome, beautiful, wonderful Macon, Georgia. You probably already heard me comment on that. And we are headed to the Indian mounds that were built by Creek Indians. And take a look at this. This is what we're looking at, what we're coming up to. Ah. It is a temple mound and it was used for ritual purposes, again, by the Creek Indians. I hope they don't have this closed too. They probably do though. I don't know if the park's open. They should have this open. Yeah, so it's excavated in 1934. Normally you can get in, but we can't even get a peek in. It is kind of disheartening to learn that it was excavated and completely rebuilt. So in reality, it's not really an Indian mound. It's a, it's a destroyed Indian mound yeah. that was built by a bunch of just regular old dudes in 1934 or 35. So they were Indian mounds. They tore them down. Now they're just hills of grass that they put back that they dug up. So I'm not even sure how you can make it a national park. It's a little disappointing there. That over there, I think is the highest port point in Macon. Way over there. I don't know if we go in there today. So they talking a long time ago, 1200s, all that. So they found some burnt corn cobs over there on that mound. This one has been completely torn down to nothing. Dug out stuff collected and then the mound put back up so that's fake news right there all my life and that one over there way over there i don't think it's been excavated we're gonna try to get over there another way we're not walking that far like i said we got bigger fish to fry today but let's see if we can drive over there i feel like i remember being able to drive over there this is a really cool building though I've been here a good handful of times, but I don't ever remember this building looking this cool. These both are mounds, I think, that have not been excavated. I don't know. This one looks exactly the same as the pictures before ex excavation, but the other ones are definitely fake news. The sun has also come out on a day that has only been cloudy all day long. And now there's one opening in the sky. We're completely surrounded by clouds. But right here where we're at, the sun is beaming down. So this 
this is it. This is what we just walked up a gazillion stairs for. But this is why I love Georgia. These beautiful rolling green hills. It actually feels good. So. <laughs> yeah, the rain actually does feel really good. That was a hot walk. Man, Georgia is hot. And these, this is kind of in a swampy part of Georgia. This is a gorgeous area. I wish I could buy it. I would just move into the mound. We just gonna let that mound over there fly because we already went to the to the tallest one. That is the mound we were at. This is the mound we are at. So there's actually lots a different mounds here burial mounds ritual mounds etc etc but it and that just a cool cool sight except for the picnic table <laughs> not get any of this stuff listed yet of course but i'll go over some of it which is some of the highlights won't go over every little bit of it because you can see all of it but i'll go over some of it the prince racket here the 03 hybrid whatever it's about a 70 dollar racket 60 70 bucks and i actually paid 20 bucks for it because it's, it was it was from somebody who actually treats us really really well and let's see here you can see 299 on that webcam that phone right there check this out the phone that thing is a sasinia 1980s roxanne phone it's worth about a hundred bucks we've tested it it works good it's got the blue light on it which is a better one and we got it for 399 those nikes don't know much about them don't know what they'll sell for but paid two dollars and fifty cent for those the King's shoes paid those are kids, so $2.99 for them. Don't know, about 15, 20 bucks. Those Merrill's do good with Merrill's, probably 20, 24 bucks. Paid five or six for those. The other stuff, pretty normal stuff, but these everybody's gonna want these. These are Marty Moose Christmas mugs from the Christmas Vacation movie. Got them for four dollars a piece, and they sell really well. Seen them up to 29 all the way from like 14 to 29 bucks. We're going to charge $24.99 on them bad boys and see what they do. And those, those shirts there, those are vintage single stitch t-shirts. I don't sell those individually for the most part. I group them up, get a bunch of them, then sell them in a big haul. And that brass lamp, those do good. Those brass desk lamps do good. Paid about three bucks for it. Probably get about 30. But as you see, not a bad haul. This Rebecca, I missed this one. Rebecca got the ink over here. About 60 bucks for that ink cartridge pack and paid three or four dollars for it. I can't remember. Nonetheless, all of this in one day, not too bad. Not too shabby. So as you see, that's not too bad for a few hours of thrifting. It wasn't even a few hours of thrifting. A little bit of thrifting while waiting on the motorhome to get done. And the Indian mounds were really cool. We did get rained out. But we wasn't planning a day trip there, so we got to see a little bit of that. And what causes the windshield on the motorhome to pop out, by the way, is he said a twisting of the frame. And I had heard this before. I just thought it was a myth. But the windshield actually does pop out, as you see. Sometimes if you're hitting a road that you're turning into a road that's unleveled the opposite way of the other one, it'll twist the frame and do it. You could hit a big pothole or leveling it wrong you know if you're leveling it and twist the frame when you level it that can do it also but we got it fixed nonetheless guys were great it was the only place that we could find in pretty much georgia that would yeah. even work on it and they did charge us but 
you know, it was a lot of money, but to, they they spent a few hours on it. I watched them. It was like four guys for a few hours, yeah. and they, you know, they took the responsibility. If they broke it, they were going to, you know, they'd have to replace it. So that counts for something. But what we do want to talk about and ask you guys about is your eBay account. So like we said at the beginning of the video, our eBay accounts slowed down a lot. Not sure if it's managed payments or not, but once we got a notification for managed payments that we absolutely had to do it, it died right then. Then we signed up, it died more. Yes. We had had some small sales, pretty good you know, amount of small sales, but not any big sales and definitely not as many sales as we're, we're used to. So we you know, just want to mention it to you and see if you guys have had the same thing, our, our reseller friends. But that being said, we'll go over, we will go over what sold. And this, you can always do good with master stuff. I don't buy the master shirts, but hats, coffee mugs, masters, ceramic, green coffee mug. I paid a dollar for it. Got sixteen seventy five for it. This Louisville Slugger baseball bat, and I did a video on this for quality, how to spot quality, because this is a really good bat. Got sixty dollars for it. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And this is just a bra, but the bras do pretty good for us. Yes. So, you know, you you hear us say it all the time, but you got to know which ones to buy. Not any Victoria's yeah. Secret bras do it. So that's our secret. And what else? Got sixteen dollars. Probably paid a dollar for it. Ten ninety nine for a reel that I paid less for that at at the Walmart. And this man, let me tell you, the railroad train. I mean, the railroad track has been sold. The first piece of railroad track has been sold for five ninety nine. I got a pile of this stuff. And if you don't remember, it's from a bad buy. Paid forty dollars for a Lionel train that sells for fifty brand new in the box. Yes. And this one was used and missing a piece of track, so I decided to part it out. And I was wrong about doubling our money. We're gonna at least triple quadruple maybe more our money on parting this train out. The kid is going to open a toy train junkyard and that's all i'm He's gonna do a genius i would have never thought of doing that yeah yeah <laughs> everybody calls me a genius everywhere i go but <laughs> we've had a lot of other tiny sales but that was probably the coolest ones definitely the coolest ones that again those are small sales yeah. so that give you an idea of kind of what we've had going on i definitely want to sell the trace the train tracks <laughs> i'm gonna keep you up to date in every video with the train that thing's killer <laughs> I picked up a vintage Victoria's Secret gold label. The gold label labels are the most expensive, most valuable. I got it for two dollars and fifty cent, and we sold it for forty eight ninety nine. And y'all remember them Tevis platform platforms I got last week? That was ugly. They sold for thirty ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Paid six dollars for the thing them. Thing was ugly. <laughs> I can't believe anybody wear those. I sold some Cricut ink cartridges. For seven ninety nine, I got them for three bucks. Some bras. Again, that's you know, wasn't a lot of sales, wasn't high sales. It was a, it was a good bit of sales, but it wasn't anywhere near the amount of sales we're used to, and no high price sales. We're used to yeah. lots of hundred eighty, hundred fifty dollar sales, and we didn't get over that sixty dollar sale was our highest sale this yes. this week. So let us know. So hopefully this video has inspired you to get out and do some reselling yourself or some RV renovating or some re reselling to renovate an RV. Or like I said, for that hamburger dog business, that for the capital for that hamburger dog business that you was wanting to start. Nonetheless, if we've inspired you to do any of that stuff, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. I was gonna say the like button, but the thumbs up is the like button. <laughs> Nonetheless, hit both of those, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, guys, again, you can do the same thing. You can buy stuff, you can sell stuff, you can renovate an RV, you can travel around buying stuff and selling stuff in your renovated RV, or you can just buy that stuff to complete your rare, rare Barry Manilow album collection that you have. You can do that. You can do the same thing. Till the next time, guys, see you later.